Have you seen my pyjama top? Under the pillow? No, it's not. It's not under yours, either. Oh, inside the bed, maybe. No. No, what are you numbing it? Nothing. Well, you haven't sent it to the laundry, have you? Of course not. Well, I've got the pyjama trousers. Well, when you put those there, what are you doing with the rest of them? Well, now, wait a minute. I was folding them up this morning, and I think Aunt Lucy called out for something. I might have left the top in her room. No, sir. She in bed yet? Well, she's probably fast asleep by now. Can't you do without it? Just for the night. No, no, I don't mind going without the bottoms down again, but I... I feel rather... <laughs> I feel rather naked without the top. <laughs> you can't disturb her now. Get another jacket from the airing cupboard. I can't wear odd pyjamas. Anyway, she won't mind. She doesn't very often get a man knocking on the bedroom door. Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy! Who is it? Rudolph <laughs> Valentino! Who? <laughs> Terry! Are there two of you? <laughs> it's just me. Look, open the door, dear. June, June says you've got my pyjamas. Certainly not. I'm wearing my own nightdress. <laughs> no, no, no. Open the door. Open the door. Let me have a look. Have you been drinking? <laughs> no, I haven't. Look, please, just open the door, Lucy. Uh, just a minute. I've got you out of office. <laughs> oh, kiss you. Yes, it's me. Do I need my passport? Oh, come in, dear. <laughs> what do you want to lock the door for? When you've lived in Bombay, you don't take any chances. You never know what might get pinched. Well, I shan't even give you a friendly pat, dear. <laughs> Where is it? On the west coast of India. <laughs> no, no, not Bombay. My, my pyjama jacket. June said she left it in here. Oh, I don't think so, dear. I'm sure I should have noticed well, it. What, well, what's that? The minor bird. No, it's on top of the cage. Oh, dear. I must have picked it up by mistake. <laughs> Shut up and go back to sleep. <laughs> now, you've woken Ganga Din. It's all right, dear. It's only Uncle Terry. Come for his pyjamas. Hello, hello. Yeah, there you are. Oh, thank you, dear. Goodbye, goodbye. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to disturb you. I'll uh, just lock the door again. Dear. Oh, yes, I should, yes. The natives of Ealing are restless tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it, dear? Yeah, it's only on the bird cage. <laughs> she is a bit forgetful sometimes. Well, I think she's forgotten how long she came here for. Two weeks, she's been here for ages. Well, it won't be much longer. I was looking forward to having a place to ourselves. As soon as all the kids cleared off, she, she moves in. Do you miss them? Oh, I do sometimes, but it's nice in a way to be on our own. Hmm. I wouldn't mind having them back, though. They weren't really very much trouble. No. No, I think they're quite a credit to me, on the whole. I, I think I did a good job with them. Yes, yeah. dear. Hmm. I mean, you know, we had our differences, of course, every family does, but on the whole, I, I think I, I managed them very well. They were kind, considerate, mm. thoughtful. And they always remembered you on Mother's Day. Mm. <laughs> Oh, did, did I say me? I meant, I meant us. Yes, if I know you did. It's funny, isn't it? They all had their own personalities, but in many ways they were very much alike. Yeah, they always enjoyed the same sort of things. Mm, I know one thing they had in common. What? Coming home at all hours. Ah, kids are kids. You always worry too much. Well, I could never get to sleep until I knew they were in. Yeah, but you used to drive me mad. Where are they? Where could they be? What time is it? Shall I phone the police? Mm. You were just as bad. Every time a car drew up, you had your head shoved through those curtains. Well, I only wanted to see what was going on. You even had the top of the fir tree chopped off to get a better view. <laughs> you make me sound like some terrible peeping Tom. I mean, when you've got daughters these days, it is a, a constant worry. Ah, oh, Frank was the worst. I used to lie awake sometimes listening to him until two and three in the morning. Yeah, he was a devil. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, good luck to him. Well, that's one thing we don't have to worry about anymore. No, no, we can go to sleep straight away. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not going to be long, are you? Uh -huh. well, you, you nearly finished? No, not quite. Well, I, I want the light up. Yes, in a minute. I'm not very tired. Well, I am, so don't be long, will you? The light is shining right in my eyes. You see? Yeah. <laughs> You're holding the paper right over my face. Oh, well, you won't be bothered by the light then, will you? <laughs> oh, no. Shh. Oh, why, why, why can't you read the paper in the morning like everybody else? Well, I didn't have time. Well, what have you been doing? Well, working. Working? Yes. Well, you haven't got anything to do nowadays. Well, there's always something to do in a house. Well, you just make work for yourself. There's nothing else to do. You could try new reading the newspaper. There just wasn't time. Look, the entire morning was taken up with washing, cleaning, shopping, cooking the lunch. What about the afternoon? Well, I was a bit tired, so I had a little nap. 
<laughs> well, no wonder why you're not tired now. Well, unfortunately, I didn't sleep all afternoon. I don't exactly encourage that at the office. Besides which, my feet keep slipping off the desk. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you wouldn't mind, can we have the light up, please? Yes, all right. Thank you. You haven't kissed me good night. <laughs> Come on, then. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, well. <sighs> you know, I've been thinking we should never have done it. <laughs> never have done what? Gone into the common market. Mm. You don't care, do you? No. Nah. <laughs> well, you should, you know. We should all care. It was one of the worst decisions that government ever made. Well, you voted for him. I didn't. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> I didn't vote for them. Well, she did. We both did. We always do. Well, you may have done, but I didn't. You, you mean you're not a Conservative? No. <laughs> But you must be. You've been one all, all our married life. I haven't. <laughs> you, you mean said all these years you've lied to me? I haven't lied to you. I just never told you. <laughs> well, I don't believe it. But does it matter? Well, of course it matters. I mean, how can you, my own wife, not be the same as me? Well, why should I be? I'm entitled to my own opinion. Well, nobody's saying you're not. I mean, you could have told me. I didn't have to. It's a secret ballot. I always took you along in my car. Naturally. <laughs> I take you to the poly booth in my car, a conservative car, and you go in and vote for somebody else? Yes. Well, what the hell are you, a bloody communist? <laughs> it's none of your business. Well, that's where you're wrong. I, I'm, I'm tired as I am. I wouldn't dream of going to sleep until I know what I'm sleeping with. Oh, Terry, don't let's, <laughs> don't let's have an argument tonight. That's probably why I've never told you before, because I knew it'd lead to a quarrel. We are not quarreling. I mean, this isn't an argument. And this is a discussion. Well, let's discuss it some other time, because you'll only lose your temper. I will not lose my temper. Now, for the last time, what are you? Well, if you must know, I'm a liberal. Good. God! <laughs> uh, how long has this been going on? Oh, quite a few years. Where are you going? I need a cigarette. You don't smoke. Well, I, I need something. What, what's good for shock? <laughs> don't be so stupid. But it is not easy when you suddenly discover you've got a liberal under the bed. Well, not under it. <laughs> Honestly, the way you're carrying on, anyone would think I've been unfaithful to you. Well, you have, and not only to me, but to the whole Conservative Party. <laughs> Where did I go wrong? <laughs> you mustn't blame yourself, dear. These things just happen. Well, somebody's got at you. They must have done it. Well, you could say that, yes. I think there was something about that nice Mr. Grimman that appealed to me. I think it was the way his, his hair used to fall down and he just used to casually push it back. What really wounds me is the, is the, is the, is the deceit, the fact that you haven't told me all these years. I thought we told each other everything. And now I wonder how many other sinister little secrets you've been hiding from me. Oh. Terry, you're being overdramatic. Well, to suddenly find out you don't really know the woman you're married to is dramatic. Now, come on, let's lay our cards on the table. Now, is, it, is there anything else you want to tell me? No, I don't think so. Well, no. Unless... Unless unless what? Unless what? 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 Come on, what? You don't... What? What? Well, I... I hardly like to tell you this, but I've never been all that keen on chocolate liqueurs. <laughs> <laughs> Every week without fail, I bought you home a box of chocolate <laughs> And it's taken you 24 years to tell me that you don't like them. I didn't want to hurt you. I'd sooner know the truth, and we'd better be honest with each other, and you wouldn't have to eat those liqueurs. Well, I don't eat them. I give them to Mrs. Noakes. <laughs> but, you are. but she, she's labouring. She oh, don't labour. <laughs> You give a Tory's hard-earned chocolate liqueurs to a blasted socialist. Well, that's, that, that's a liberal for you. Uh, sitting on the fence in the middle, playing one up against the other. Oh, you do talk nonsense. Come on, get into bed. Well, I shan't sleep, you know that. Yes, you will. There's nothing to worry about. It isn't that important, really. Yeah. It's certainly not worth ruining our marriage over. I suppose I'll just have to learn to live with it. There's always an answer to any problem. 
It just takes a little bit of adjustment. <laughs> you, you mean you consider making a change? Yes. I'll have peppermint creams instead. <laughs> Thank you, darling. I'd love another cup of tea. Help yourself, then. <laughs> Is your toast all right? Yeah. Sure? Tastes it right to me. Good, because I burnt it. <laughs> Tastes it absolutely fine. Well, I'm glad, but I thought I'd better tell you that I burnt it and then I scraped it. <laughs> I wouldn't have known. No, I know you wouldn't have known. That's why I'm telling you, because I didn't want to keep it from you. <laughs> Pardon? I didn't want it to be one of my sinister little secrets. Have my tea, please. There you are. Just. Oh, darling, are you going to keep this up for long? <laughs> what? The sulks, dear, the sulks. I didn't know I was sulking. You haven't even said good morning yet. I have lunch. Oh. Morning. <laughs> you see, you are sulking. I am not sulking. It just takes time for a wound to heal, that's all. Perhaps you'd like to go away somewhere to convalesce. <laughs> there must be hundreds of nursing homes for people who suffer from liberals who don't like chocolate liqueurs. Look, there's no need to be facetious. I mean, you sound as if it was trivial. I, I was unreasonable. I mean, all I want for us is to have a closer, happier life now and, and to share deeper understanding together. And therefore, it's helpful from time to time if I point out these little faults of yours. <laughs> so they're all on my side. You don't have any. Well, <laughs> well, if you can think of any, by all means, trot them out. Well, now that you mention it... Oh, hang on, it's a... getting late. Sorry. Yes, I thought it was... <laughs> All right, jot them down on a bit of paper. And post them to you. What are you talking about? I'm not going anywhere. No, I might go away for a bit. What? Well, where? Well, I haven't seen Mummy and Daddy for a long time. I might go and uh, spend a week or so with them. A week or so? Yes, longer. A little separation might help. Who, who said anything about that separation? I'm saying it now. June. Terry, I mean it. Maybe you and I are just... Incompatible. How can we be incompatible after all these years? Ah, oh, but we've always had the children to keep us together, haven't we? I mean, now that they've gone, and we've only got each other, we may find that we're totally unsuited. June, I love you. I think you do. Well, June, you love me, don't you? Well, I thought I did. Well, June, look, sit down. <laughs> You'll be late. You'll no, be late for the office. Well, never mind. This is more important than the office. Look, I, I want us to love each other even more now than we did before, and to grow closer and to live out our remaining years on a, a new voyage of discovery. You set sail last night and we're on the rocks already. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe I was, was a little unreasonable, but I mean, after all this time, you expect two people like us to know everything there is to know about each other. But do we? Do we? I mean, uh, tell me. Tell me, what's my favorite color? Blue? No. Red? Yellow. You, did, you didn't even know. <laughs> what, what, what's my favourite food? Oh, heaven knows. You only tell me what you don't like. <laughs> ah, yeah, but I mean, there's one particular dish that I absolutely adore. What is it? What is it? Well, I don't know. What is it? Well, I, I don't know the name of it, but I mean, we... <laughs> we, we had it with, with those people at, at that house. What people? Well, I don't know their name, but it, it was little strips of beef. Or lamb, or <laughs> beef, or something in a, in a sort of sauce uh, with it covered with, with mushrooms and herbs and things. It was, it was absolutely lovely. Well, I'll ask them for the recipe if you can remember who they are. <laughs> the Turners. The Turners. Yes, yes. Ah, ah. John and Elsie. Uh, you give her a ring. <laughs> I don't know where she lives. What? They're divorced now. <laughs> they are. So they are. Oh. Well. Well, I mean, that's not going to happen to us, and that is why, that is why I'm making such an effort to put, put you right. Put me right! Put both, both of us, both of us, both of us right. <laughs> both of us. All right, let's try it your way. When you come home tonight, your pyjamas will be under your pillow, and I'll be wearing a blue rosette, waiting to serve you some sort of casserole on a yellow tablecloth. That's my girl. And what are you prepared to do? You 
right up my list of faults. Right? All of them. No, no, no matter how small, you put them all down. And I shall give them my very careful consideration. You promise? I promise. You, you won't recognize the man that comes through that door tonight. I shall be kind, generous, warm-hearted, loving. Oh, you still haven't gone, then. Neither have you, dear. Harry? <laughs> <laughs> it's not tonight yet. The mic, the mic. Remember that one? Cook it. Is that, is that really me? <laughs> well, I wasn't on honeymoon with anyone else. Mm. That was taken at that little hotel down by the river. Oh, look at that hairstyle. It's ridiculous. Ah, oh, I used to like it like that. And look how slim you were. Mm. Yeah, don't remind me. <sighs> you know, there just aren't any songs like that anymore. No, well, no, I mean, how, how can you fall in love to Led Zeppelin? <laughs> 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 it's nice, nice looking at listening to those photographs and listening to those old records. It's much more romantic than watching the telly. So are all these beautiful flowers. I've never had so many. <laughs> you should have heard what the flower seller said on the corner. <laughs> he said, hello, is the wife away then? He said, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Would you like a peppermint cream? No, I prefer chocolate liqueurs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't eat anything after that dinner. That was fabulous. Might not be up to Elsie's standard. Oh, of course it was. It was. Made her concoction look like Irish stew. What was it called? Birth Borgen, I know. Birth Bourguignon. Ah. It tastes even better than it sounds. <laughs> you know, I'm going to have to get used to this. What? Well, compliments, flowers, champagne. Mm. Well, I told you this is the beginning of a new era. <laughs> oh, by the way, did you, did you happen to do that in my list of faults? Oh, we don't want to bother with that now. <laughs> well, if you didn't do it, it doesn't matter. Oh, but... yes, I did it all right. <laughs> uh, oh, don't let's spoil the evening. No. Well, that might be a bit of a giggle to see what you put down. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything myself. <laughs> Have you lost a bit of paper then? No. Oh. Here it is. <laughs> Do I need a brandy? Yes, and your glasses. It's very full writing. <laughs> so let's see what we put down. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, darling, I hardly ever use that word. <laughs> Yeah, but only to other motorists. <laughs> and to me. What, what, from now on, then, from now on, that's out, that's out. Huh. Yes, I, I do that. No, I do, you're quite right, you're quite right. I'm glad, I'm glad you pointed that out, yes? And in future, I'll cut my toenails in the bathroom. <laughs> darling. Well, that's the whole beauty of this sort of thing, the whole point of the exercise. I must say you're being very good about it. Well, I told you this was the way to do it. What the? You nearly said it. Well, I should... I should... Did you all think so? Hi, hypochondriac! Go and look in the medicine cabinet. It's better socks than boots. But, um, <laughs> there is nothing in there that I haven't needed at one time or other. I mean, I, I've got an agonizing pain now, but I'm, well, I wouldn't mention it, you know. It could be indigestion. It might be, but we won't dwell on it. No, when I go, I shall go quietly. Then you, you'll believe me, then. Ooh. Oh, darling, <sighs> don't talk like that. You'll spoil a lovely evening. Mm. And throw that old bit of paper away. It isn't doing you any good. Well, I haven't finished it yet. No, they're not important, honestly. Well, I shall keep it for future reference. Anyway, I'm feeling rather romantic tonight. I think I'm falling in love with my new husband. <laughs> my word, it's getting on. It's nine o'clock. Go on. <laughs> well, don't be so obvious. All right, then I'll, I'll lead up to it. <laughs> Let's go to bed. <laughs> Very subtle. Well, do I have to be subtle with my own wife? Yes. Why not? Pretend you've just met me for the first time. Good evening, I'm Terry Fletcher. <laughs> How about it? <laughs> John Betchman couldn't have put it better. Well, do you want a poem or something? <clears throat> Just a, a hint of romance, a little finesse, that'd help. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, has not anything to show more fair than you. Let us steal away in the night to a little secluded rendezvous by the moonlit river. Oh, that's better. Go on. And there we shall lie snug and warm in our secluded love nest. Oh, what a good idea. Let's go there. <laughs> where? Well, you were thinking of our little hotel in Maidenhead, weren't you, where we spent our honeymoon? Was I? <laughs> you knew you were. Now, that really is romantic, a second honeymoon. Can we go? 
Uh, yeah, if you want to sometime, yes. Fine. Well, why can't we go now? Uh, now? Well, what's to stop us? Well, what about the children? Uh -huh, ah, you yeah. see. Uh, well, fine. what about Lucy? Oh, Lucy won't mind, not just for one night. It's after nine o'clock. We'll be there by eleven. No, come on, where's your spirit of adventure? We'll throw a few things in a bag and drive off into the night. Oh, Junior, you're mad. Yes, I am. Come on, get well, up. Well, Minnie, I think it's gone out. <laughs> no. well, Don't worry, darling. Uh, we'll take the medicine cabinet with us. Yeah, I've got okay. <laughs> Darling, isn't it marvellous? It looks exactly the same. Oh, I don't recognise any of it. Oh. <laughs> don't you remember you carried me through those doors? Well, I probably had to. You were drinking champagne all day. <laughs> Let's do it again. What? Carry me over the threshold. Oh, don't be silly. We're too old for that. Of course we're not. Come on. Well, why do you have to suddenly get out? Well, 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 Wait a minute. Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? The door's locked. Oh, it can't be. What can it be? Here, oh, open up. Come on. It's late. What do you want? Well, what do you think? What do you think we're staying here? Oh, well, we won't stay there, then. <laughs> This is my wife. We've come from London. You must be Wara. <laughs> if you don't mind, I was carrying her over the threshold. Oh, newlyweds, eh? In a way, yes. In a way, yes. Well, I wonder you don't go down the plough. They're less fussy there. <laughs> no, just let's get one thing straight. We are the burning fire of a husband and wife. My name is Fletcher, not Smith, and we'd like some accommodation. Oh, all right, then. Uh, Second marriage, eh? No, no. No, no, not a second marriage, but it is a sort of second honeymoon. So if you could find us a nice double room with a bath, we'd be very grateful. Have you booked? No, we decided to chance it. Well, we're very busy, you know. Dad, I've got very much left. And you and your brilliant idea. Be nice to him. What? Chat him up. Ha! <laughs> 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 um, yes, we came here on our honeymoon and together. Uh, both of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, what have you got, then? Come on. Two Tim. singles. Singles? Oh, no. Yeah, without both. I'm going home. Uh, no, wait a minute. Uh, are they by any chance adjoining? I'm afraid not, madam. They're number 104 and 306. <laughs> <laughs> not even on the same floor. The best, best I can do, sir. Well, Doesn't matter. We can manage. Just for one night. You can come to my room. <laughs> <laughs> Sign the book, then, sir. Thank you very much indeed. Right. You can follow me now, sir. Thank, Thank you. Ah, oh, darling. Why couldn't you do that? Well, I don't even know the girl. <laughs> <laughs> what time would I be called, sir? 6 a.m. Yes, I'll give the message to the night porter when he comes back. Not at all, sir. No. Ah, uh, good evening. Uh, good morning, sir. Hey, yes, I'm sorry. Good Can morning. I help you? Um, yeah, you're, I'm looking for the, uh, you're, you're not the, are, are you, are you the... I'm the manager, sir. Ah, yeah, well, you, you don't know me, you see, well, I... Uh, I'm, I'm staying here. I rather gather that, sir. <laughs> yes, and uh, I'm in... 3 oh, oh, sorry. And um, the, 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 the chap, you know, he knows...
It's all about me, the night porter. Is, is, he, is he around? Not at the moment, sir. Can I help you? Well, I'm in a bit of a state. You see, I lost my wife. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I can do it. Um, oh, no. No, no, she's, she's here. She is here, but I don't know where. Uh, she's not in your room? No, no, she's in another room. Which one? Well, that is what I was hoping to find out. <laughs> I see. <laughs> uh, tell me, sir, were you aware she'd gone to this other room? Oh, yeah, because you put her in it. Well, the other bloke, you see, put her in. Now, ah, now, you're, you're not following me, are you? <laughs> no. See, we, we came here on a honeymoon. Congratulations. Thanks. No. <laughs> no, no, that was, that was 23 years ago. And you have reason to believe your wife is still here? <laughs> Yes. See, I know, I know she's here, but I, you see, I thought she was in 10, 107, but there's some funny old bird there who wears men's shoes. What's her name, sir? <laughs> well, I didn't ask her name, I just gave her the shoes and <laughs> uh, Your name, sir? Ah, uh, good thinking. Um, Fletcher. Mrs. Fletcher, 104. 104, sir. thank you. Don't mention it, sir. 104. 104. <laughs> I was looking uh, for the... Uh... Use bathroom? Yes, yes. Uh, he's going there himself. Well, you go first. Down there on the left. No, no, I mean, no, hurry, you go. No, 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 no. After you. <laughs> I just popped back to tell you it's engaged. <laughs> well, that's very civil of you. Thank you. Damned inconvenient, these old hotels. <laughs> frustrating, what? Oh, very frustrating, mm. yes. <laughs> oh, best to be free now. Oh, right. <laughs> they weren't my shoes, you know. No, they weren't my shoes. <laughs> what did she say? No idea. No idea. Uh, some funny things are around these days, you know, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> well, off you go. Yes. Oh, there you are. Shh. I had a hell of a job getting past security call out there. <laughs> You've gone about half an hour. Well, I forgot the number of your room. I had to go and ask the under-manager. You wonder what on earth we're up to. Not a great deal, judging by the size of that bed. Kelly, <laughs> <laughs> Dean, come on, hop in. You're not going to read tonight, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Are you awake? <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Where did you put that list of faults? <laughs> and so it's farewell to the Fletchers for the time being. But who can fill their shoes? What about Eric? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. No. No, what, what have you done with it? Nothing. Well, you haven't sent it to the laundry, have you? Of course not. Well, I've got the pyjama trousers. Well, you put those there. What do you do with the rest of them? 
Well, now, wait a minute. I was folding them up this morning, and I think Aunt Lucy called out for something. I might have left the top in her room. Okay. She in bed yet? Well, she's probably fast asleep by now. Can't you do without it just for tonight? Mm -hmm. No, I don't mind going without the bottoms down again, but I... I'd feel rather, <laughs> rather naked without the chop. You can't disturb her now. Get another jacket from the airing cupboard. I can't wear odd pyjamas. Anyway, she won't mind. She doesn't very often get a man knocking on the bedroom door. <laughs> Lucy. Lucy. Who is it? Rudolph <laughs> Valentino. <laughs> Terry. Are there two of you? <laughs> no, it's, it's just me. Look, open the door, dear. June, June says you've got my pyjamas. Certainly not. I'm wearing my own nightdress. <laughs> no, no, no. Open the door. Open the door. Let me have a look. Have you been drinking? <laughs> <laughs> look, I haven't. Look, please, just open the door, Lucy. Uh, just a minute. I've got to have a lock it. <laughs> oh, tis you. Yes, it's me. Do I need my passport? Oh, come in, dear. <laughs> well, what do you want to lock the door for? When you've lived in Bombay, you don't take any chances. You never know what might get pinched. Well, I shan't even give you a friendly pat, dear. <laughs> Where is it? On the west coast of India. <laughs> no, no, not Bombay. My, my pyjama jacket. June said she left it in here. Oh, I don't think so, dear. I'm sure I should have noticed well, it. What, well, what's that? The minor bird. No, it's on top of the cage. Oh, dear. I must have picked it up by mistake. Shut up and go back to sleep. <laughs> now, you've woken Ganga Din. It's all right, dear. It's only Uncle Terry come for his pyjamas. Hello, hello. Yeah, there you are. Oh, thank you, dear. Goodbye, goodbye. Yeah, oh, dear. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry to disturb you. I'll uh, just lock the door again, dear. Oh, yes, I should, yes. The natives of Ealing are restless tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's only on the bird cage. <laughs> she is a bit forgetful sometimes. Well, I think she's forgotten how long she came here for. Two weeks, 